Hello, my name is Cesar Hinojosa. Today we're going to be making chicken stock. So the ingredients we're going to be using today is chicken bones, our meat pot, which includes celery, carrots, and onions. We're going to be using water, of course, and we're also going to be making our sachette de peas. Also in our sachette de peas, we're going to include parsley, rosemary, thyme, dry bay leaf, crushed black pepper, and crushed garlic. The first thing you saw in the video was that I started off by blanching my, bon my bones. So what does blanching do or what is blanching to begin with? Well, blanching is when we boil the bones first and then rinse them by throwing away that first batch of water. What this does is that it cleans the broth and makes it cleaner in the future and it removes any impurities. You're going to then put the new water in and use the same chicken bones that you used and bring it up to a boil. So all of this is happening while I'm prepping my ingredients. As you can see here, I am cutting my mirepoix, uh, which includes celery, onions, and carrots. The ratio of that is 50% of it is onions, 25% of it is celery, and 25% of it is carrots. Um, I like to cut my vegetables the same size. Why? Because if, I, if you cut some smaller than the other ones, they're going to cook at different rates. Again, uh, this process is slow and steady. So we're going to be using big chunks and again all of them looking around the same size. The next thing that I am prepping uh is my sachet again the ingredients that i'm using here are uh bay leaf parsley thyme rosemary crushed garlic and crushed black pepper and tying them in a cheesecloth using butcher's twine the next thing you're going to see me do is again rinse uh, rinsing my chicken because the purpose of this is to remove impurities you start off with cold water again once you bring it up to a boil um you're going to be adding your uh, mirepoix. So the reason that we put our, our ingredients that go in the sachette piece in a cheesecloth or in this case coffee filter is so that all the little particles stay in the sachette piece and do not go into your broth making it murky, right? Uh, you Then the next thing you want to do is using your butcher's twine, you're going to want to tie that to the handle of the pot. This makes it easy to remove the, the sachette later on. Um, and again, because then we don't risk trying to pull it and tearing it and then making our chicken broth dirty. Uh, again, going back to the rinsing, it removes the impurities. You're going to see here that I bring the chicken uh, back to the pot. You're going to start with cold water, bring it up to a boil, and you're going to be adding your mirror paw. Uh, again, you see me here rinsing it. And like I keep saying, the purpose of this is so that we get a cleaner broth. Uh, you're going to see a little bit later that my broth is not going to be as clean and I'll go ahead and explain why. Uh, so the next thing you do is you keep an eye on it, skimming any impurities in the in that form on the top. The next thing that I did is that I realized that I had a bunch of different, a bunch of, uh, of chicken bones that were frozen. I had been saving them up to make chicken broth and hey, what a perfect time. So I decided to bring a big bath of chicken broth. I did char an onion, as you can see here in the video. You're going to be able to see it. The charred onion gives it gives the broth a f flavor and color. Um, I also decided to add some mushrooms that I had on hand uh, to give it an um umami element, as well as black garlic that a friend uh, gifted me. Uh, once my chicken broth cooked overnight, so it took about 12 to 18 hours, I went ahead and removed all the physical parts and strained it. I did not have a cheesecloth to strain it, so that means that my chicken broth is going to be a little bit murky, not something that we would like, but it's still usable. The next step is to properly cool down your chicken broth uh, using ice or an ice wand or ice as an ingredient. Uh, once the broth cools down, some fat is going to form on the top. Skim it, and you'll get your chicken broth. Uh, chicken broth has a lot of uses, so enjoy.